Hey guys, what's up? Another quick little video. Uh, today's video we're gonna look at 511 Tactical Pants. This is not a sponsor from them or anything. Uh, so, getting into the pants, uh, they are about, uh, it depends on where you get them from. I got them from Academy for about 50 bucks, so definitely shop around. Uh, find your cheaper ones. Obviously, if you buy them online, they're gonna be a little more expensive. I think Gauls sell, sells them for about oh about 70 to 80 bucks or so. Again, it all just depends on what type of pants because they have different uh, like models or whatever. So going off with the this one is a I don't know what model this one is, um, but they have different different styles and stuff like that. Uh, I've had these here for a little while, so I've gotten some good use out of them. Um, they're nice, durable, uh, durable, heavy cotton, or actually I think they're polyester, they're not even cotton. I think they're mostly polyester, let me see if I can find the uh, ingredients tag. <laughs> uh, let's see here. It's all worn off. But yeah, I want to say it's mostly polyester. Yeah, all, all the wording is pretty much worn off this black tag here. Um, they did shrink a tad bit, so they do have a little bit of car cotton in them, but not much. So getting on with them, let's. Some more space here. Um, you know, you got normal slanted pockets right here, uh, and then the, this big old huge back pocket that velcros, uh, as well as this uh, this strap right here. <clears throat> On the other side, it didn't have the strap, but let's see if we can move this down a little bit. So you got these nice pockets down here. Uh, I use this one. It's a small little Velcro uh, pocket. I use this one and I keep gloves and stuff in it. And then on the other side it has this slanted pocket. Uh, that, or this the, about a smaller pocket than that one. Just a tad bit and it's open. Uh, I keep handcuff key and a couple pins in there. Um, and then this right here is really good for for putting your keys on and stuff like that. Although it does have this other one uh, up here in the front, this small little ring uh, for for keys. I usually, I hardly ever use it because I don't like my keys sitting here dangling and making all that annoying sound. Um, but I use these for the for the jail keys because uh, a big set of keys can hook on there real good and slide down in your back pocket. So um, the real question is, are these pants worth, you know, 50 to $80, depending on where you buy them? And in my opinion, if you're going to be using them, like, all the time, like, constantly, then yeah, you know, uh, if, if you got a job where you're, uh, maybe climbing, you know, uh, doing a lot of repelling or hanging by ropes and stuff like that, working on turbines and shit like that. Uh, I think those are really good because it does have a decent amount of, of pockets. It has that strap for carabiners. I mean, I mean that's what these pants were originally made for, were climbing um, and stuff like that. And then kind of law enforcement kind of picked up into it and stuff. These were the pants that I used to wear. I used to wear these Wrangler, um, Wrangler outdoor pants. They got two slanted zipper pockets and then your normal pants pockets. Um, they're super breathable. They're not made out of cotton. I think these are 100% polyester. Super lightweight. And they're really cheap at Walmart for like 20 bucks. So I've been wearing these uh, before I got those. Let me tell you, those are way, way worth it. Um, 
if you see here, you know, they just went into these small little details. Um, see if we can get that to, to pick up. Probably not. Yeah, you see that little right there? This is actually a double reinforced stitching right here. And it's on all of them. It's on all their pockets right down there at the bottom. Because that's usually where people would put knives. So you can see they kind of went that extra mile on all their pockets. And then this one right here, the whole thing is, is that reinforced double stitching. So they really kind of went, uh, went above and beyond on that. Um, they got nice, thick, quality belt loops. Um, most of them are thick, except for this one in the very back, and then one on the sides. Uh, those are thin. Uh, and this is a super good quality. You can see it's double stitch, and then they got a, um, it's reinforced right here where the loop is where the belt loop is. So it's just little things like that that they really took into consideration. Uh, they have a double stitched um, down here on the uh, on the knee area. Now these are not knee pad compatible. Uh, they, they do have a extra thicker little piece of material where the knee pad or where your knees are but they're not, they don't have the slots for knee pads. Uh, they do make some that are like that, though. Like I said, there's different models. Um, so you can just really see how they went above and beyond to make sure that uh, that they're quality products. Let's see. I don't know if this is one of the older pair of pants or one of the newer ones. I was going to show you kind of what it does, you know, to your pants. If you're always putting a knife or something in there, some kind of a clip, but I don't have it on these pants, but it starts to, the material just starts to break down and frail apart, so they really done a good job on that. Um, so in conclusion, if you know, you're know you got some kind of a job where you need a good set of pants um, in a lot of pockets and good durable quality material, yeah, it might be worth it to spend. 50 to 80 dollars and, and again that's pretty much the price range I've seen is 50 to 80 dollars um, if you go to Academy that's where I got these at uh, these were the cheapest ones they're 49 something uh, they did have some that were 60 and I'm trying to think some other places that sell them have been online um, law enforcement stores and stuff like that sporting outdoor stores sell them not just Academy, but like Dick Sporting Outdoors, Cabela's, um, what's the other place? Bass Pro, I'm sure they have it. I haven't been to Cabela's or Bass Pro in a very long time, though. But, you know, all the sporting outdoor places are most likely going to have it. Uh, law enforcement places are going to have it. And they don't sell them at Walmart or anything like that because of how expensive they are. So, uh, yeah, they're really worth the price if you're going to be using them a lot. So, that's today's video.